Hi, Scott Orland with Cinema Magazine. As you can see, we're in not a typical place. We're actually outside of Florence, Italy, and what a better place to talk about Da Vinci's Demons, which is the new television series about who else? Leonardo da Vinci. This is Tom Riley who gets to inhabit Leonardo da Vinci. I keep wanting to go Leonardo DiCaprio. No, dude, no, no, no. That's this what was, we have to keep this was a bigger star yeah. before that. Yeah. When you see this, it's really what who was this man, one of the greatest inventors and painters ever in, in history, but we don't know really what he was like in his 20s and his 30s. This TV series is going to tell us. So, mm. Well, it's very much a revisionist version of what we imagine he might have been because there's a whole period in his life, fascinatingly, that David lit, lit upon where his journal pages went missing. So there's 13,000 pages that we know he wrote and 6,000 remain, 7,000 are lost to history. And in that 6,000, you've got the tank and the machine gun and the submarine and the diving suit. So what must have been in the rest? And also there's the gold mine, as you say, between 27 and 32, no one knows where he was or what he was doing. So David found this period that he thought this would be the perfect time to revisit who a man that most people is a very old, solemn looking man with a gray beard was before he became that guy. Yeah, I don't think uh, that Leonardo went to the gym. I think this one did. <laughs> but when you see this, it's really Leonardo da Vinci action hero. I mean, yeah. it totally plays into something that we're not going to be expecting. No, well, that's what's funny, is that we... Um, I read a biography by a guy called Giorgio Vasari that wrote about him in his 20s that no one had ever heard this stuff about him, how he could... He wrote, and this is probably exaggerated, <laughs> but he wrote that he could bend metal bars with his bare hands, and he was he had, he had was aesthetically pleasing with a, bod, it said a body that, that should be written more about, or something just bizarre, nothing that you would ever put towards Leonardo. So when you combine those physical attributes with the greatest mind in history, as it is documented then you do get this kind of action detective that we've created. And what's really fascinating is here we are, we have Florence, Italy in the background. It's actually magnificent. And you think, oh my God, what it must have been like to shoot here. No, no. a shot in Wales. <laughs> but did. they really recreated Florence. The yeah. production designs were spectacular. It's astonishing. We, and actually, we drove out to Vinci just outside of Florence yesterday. And the landscape's surprisingly similar. When we all heard we were going to be in Wales, we went... Okay, uh, well, at least we can go home at the weekends and you know, but I can't see how they'll ever turn that into Italy. And actually the landscape, give or take a few of the trees, is, is surprisingly similar. And then we built Florence inside a 256,000 square foot soundstage in uh, Wales. It's now the biggest soundstage in Europe and we built it specifically for the show. As an actor, where do you start? Where do you go? I mean, who is Leonardo da Vinci? I mean, oh. we're, we're so impressed with The Last Supper and with mm. the works he created, but how do you know who this man is? How do you create something? Well, ab absolutely. And you and it's a very intimidating prospect to take on the greatest mind in history. I mean, how do you possibly inhabit that mind? So you don't. You sort of go, okay, well, let the action, the words, let what he does prove his intelligence. And then I'll t take the more human aspects of him, what it must have been like to have been a perfectionist, to be struggling all the time, to feel isolated by your brain when you're always the smartest person in the room. You know, it's quite... A, be quite a lonely place. Well, that was to like be. you in college, right? Yeah, it was just, and, and that's what I went back to. I thought understand. about that, you know, and then I remembered when I was a genius. <laughs> um, no, it, but that was basically the only way in because, uh, short of going to the library and trying to read every book in there before we started, there was no other way in. Well, I cannot thank you enough. Oh, best best thank of luck so with much. the show. Thank and you. if you ever get tired of that leather jacket that you wear in the oh. show, it's actually the wardrobe's pretty damn cool. It's like, yeah. I want that now. No, I'm, I'm having that. If anyone's getting it, I'm getting it. <laughs> Tom, thank you so much. Love really appreciate you. it. This is Scott Orland. Until next time.